Dear students, in the fourth chapter, we are going to study about the fourth part that is meanders and the oxbow legs. Meanders and oxbow legs. Can you see a picture there? Like a snork, snake is going this like this like no? That's why that is not a snake. There is a river is flowing in the middle part, middle course. Middle course is the river flow. Okay. What is it shows? We can have a discuss. Okay. The rate of erosion along the river bed decrease at the river leaves the upper coast. Upper coast flow. However, lateral erosion dominates. Erosion The river flowing through comparatively gentle slopes. It takes deviation when sediments or rock forms create obstruction to flow. Sediments are manna, and rock and well, the direction the direction. Such bending course of river is shown in the picture for Parna. A bending, our bend will now be thirty Okay. The Sinuous curves formed along the river course is called meanders. I know meanders. Your curved flow of river is meanders. Okay. Meanders are usually formed in the middle or lower courses in wide rivers. Upper course is the middle course and lower course is meanders. Okay. So that shows in the picture. Okay. Then observe the transformation happening to the meanders through the further erosion and deposition. For point ten, at the picture we are not. Now, what are these? This deposition and that is erosion. Good to good to good to right. We are not. This meanders and that is the transformation. Is that meanders may further curve through the continuous erosion and deposition. <coughs> meanders are the curve. Then, curve, curve, curve. Two shape. Then, add, 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 add. Deposition. Good. Finally, river takes straight course. <coughs> river and the other one straight edge. Now, this curve and the other one, our cross side, this dust sediments are not there. Due to the deposition, <coughs> the curves may get detached from the main river. Our curve and the other one, our main river will detach it. Or that is from isolated water bodies. It is isolated. Such water bodies are called oxbow lakes. Angen isolate type of na, that wa river bed in separate type of na. E or body can angen baraya. Oxbow lakes. In this picture, you can see. First of all, there is a small shape. Second picture is showing them some more uh, attached to the river, right? Then the last picture shows that the water body is going straightly, and the uh, the meander, the U shape meander has been closed. It has been isolated. This isolated part is called what? Oxbow legs. You can see an oxbow legs there. The same shape, a U shape. This is called oxbow legs. Okay. This is all about this chapter, this area. I hope you understand about meanders and oxbow legs. This is meanders. This curving shapes and the last two word picture is what oxpoids so that is the difference between meanders and oxpoids the meander is becoming what oxpoids thank you